Hello. So in the last video, I went through and showed you how to draw out the room like this. Now in this one, I'm going to start by making some adjustments to my drawing because I've been looking at it thinking I've not got enough shelves here. I've not put those lights in yet. I need to get the details of the books and um, a few more bits in. So I'm going to speed up the video just to make those adjustments. Um, those of you who've brought your homework in, some of you have asked you to make adjustments to a few things. Check in that these these lines that are heading away from the viewer are heading towards that vanishing point and that anything on the back wall needs to be flat. Um. Okay, so when you think you've got all the details right in pencil, things are more or less where they should be, uh, this is the time you're going to then go over it in a pen. Now you can do this with a biro, with a fine liner, with a sharpie, uh, whatever you have, whatever you think is going to work best. Okay, so once you go over all the lines in dark, we're now going to paint it in the style of Patrick Caulfield. So he did most things all in the same colour with a few things perhaps of a, a lighter colour. So I'm going to mix up the colours I want and get these painted on now. So as I was painting my uh, my image, I had a couple of problems. One thing to avoid is using a palette that's a bit dirty. So although I was trying to mix a bluey green, I've got this some red that was seeping into it. So you can kind of see these purplish reddy tones underneath. Um, also, something we've discussed in class, I didn't mix enough of the colour that I wanted to have to remix it, which meant I had to go over it, which means I've probably gone a bit too thick. And so these... Um, I'm starting not to see these black lines. So I think what I'll do is perhaps have another go over it with the, um, the Sharpie to try and bring those out. But overall, uh, I've got the effect that I want. Now, if you manage to get this uh, drawn uh, and maybe put a, a biro or a, a felt tip over the top, uh, if, obviously if you've got paints or uh, markers or something that would give it a nice flat finish at home do it but you're welcome to wait to do the color until you're in school and you can use the materials that's totally up to you Okay, so there's the, just trim the edges, um, the completed homework task for creating an interior, one of your, one of your rooms in the style of Patrick Caulfield.